I'm trying to repair some uh, solar cell units that are um, sold in Walmarts, etc., etc. Here you see a few of them. This is with a candle. This is the electronic unit inside that so-called candle unit. You see a lot of rust, oxidation at the contacts from the battery. The battery is always not properly made. It is nickel, mangan, etc. But it doesn't function. Here you have a kind of spring that has to make the contact to the battery that's not enough. And here also. Here another unit. And again we see here the same type of battery. 600 milliampere hours nickel manganine hydride but it does not function at all. After one year everything is broken. And here you see a unit that I've made myself in the past. Uh, these solar cell units working on one LED are often now at the moment made by a single chip that's inside here. But of course due to the weather conditions everything rusts. There is stray uh, resistance etc etc so it doesn't work. Everything has to be cleaned. That's the first thing to do. And the second thing to do connect a good quality um, a battery. Nickel cadmium or nickel manganine. This is a good quality battery. It has functioned for approximately two years and it worked good but now all is broken down due to the fungus etc. So what I'm going to do clean everything, use new batteries, new accumulators, test it all again. And what you can also see here is that the, um, the glass that covered the solar panels is broken. That has all to do with the winter uh, where the temperatures are so low that the glass breaks. Here you see exactly the same thing and here you see exactly the same fungus that destroys everything. So anyway, a lot of work to do, new batteries, cleaning it all up, etc. And after say a uh, few hours or so, it all works properly again. And use good batteries. This is a low quality battery. I always use Varta batteries. These types. This is a very good brand to use in solar, uh, simple solar lights. Varta, rechargeable battery, always has a very high quality.